Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Friday Business Intelligence Tip. This is Rich from Dashboard Gear. Today, our topics uh, in the area of SQL reporting services again. We get a number of questions in regards to that, and, and today's topic is how to add expanding and collapsing groups in SQL reporting services. We get asked the question a lot because they've seen them in many example reports. So I, I created just a real basic report here that I said account units by company. Those of you that are in for customers know that account units are, are basically like cost centers or departments. And so if, when I run this account units by company report, it's got a section here um, that has each company number. And if I click on it, the little plus next to it, it will expand and show the uh, account units underneath it. So it's got an expandable, and if I click it, collapsible section under each item. So the question is, how do you create such a report? And those could be things like P&Ls, balance sheets, where you want to expand and get details, uh, show, and, show and hide different things. Or maybe on the HR side, you want to have departments and show me the employees under it or the employees and show me their paychecks, that kind of thing, uh, where you have sections underneath it. Well, there are really two main ways to do it. One way is that you knew ahead of time that you need to expand and collapsible group. And you can do that right in the wizard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up here and say new paginated report and our report builder friend will open up here. And as we get into it, we'll create, basically I'll create that report I just showed you um, where I can go to table or matrix wizard. We'll create a data set. We'll go to my financial data. And then when it opens up here, I can pick a table and I'll pick uh, that account unit structure uh, table that I was looking at there. Here it is. I'll do company, account unit, and description. You can do whatever else, but I'll do those three. If I do next. Now the key to the expandable and collapsible groups when you do the wizard is you put in the group whatever area that you want to have kind of closed. And if you have multiple ones, I could have a group and another group and another group and kind of keep going. And then the, the most lowest level detail is what would go in the value section. When I do next, it's gonna give me a layout and you'll notice the last option that's checked by default is expand and collapse groups. We'll just leave that checked. If I do next, we'll do finish. I'll make this a little bit wider so we can see the whole description. And when I run this, we basically get that report that I was just showing you, each section with an expand and collapse. Now that works well and fine, assuming that you uh, knew that going into uh, creating the report, but really how is it doing it? And what do I need to do if I need to add something after the fact? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this report. We're not gonna save it, that wasn't very good. So we're gonna do a new report. This time I'm gonna be not quite as uh, diligent in my thinking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, we'll see a table. We'll create a data set. We'll do next, pick my financial data source again. We're gonna go up to my tables and we're gonna create an account unit structure, uh, account companies and account units, descriptions, do next. I'm gonna put all that on my report. So I've got there and I don't need to sum my company. It's a number, so it thinks it needs to sum it. And I'll do next and I'll do finish. Now at this point, when I run it, it gives me just a flat listing, no collapsing, no grouping, nothing, uh, nothing exciting. So how are groups expanded and collapsed? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to create a group. So you'll notice down here in the group section, it's got the details of the report, which are each line item. Now, as you recall, when we built that through the report builder, what I did was I took a value and I'll drag company here down to the section above details that will create a group for company. Now I don't need to display company on the details anymore because I already have it. So I'm gonna right click on that column header and say delete columns. So now I have company, account unit and description. When I run this, it groups them by company. So there's one, there's two, there's three. You'll notice it groups them, but it's still not an expand and collapse. So how do I control that? Well, if I come back down here to the group section, 
and do group properties, there's an area in here for visibility. And on the visibility, it gives you some options as far as show and hide and display can be toggled. What you want to do, now I clicked on the properties for company. I don't want to be on that because for company, I want it to show. So I'll just leave it as is. But if I go to the details section, what I want to do is do group properties, visibility. We're going to hide that section. So when the report initially runs, that section is going to be hidden. But I want to click this checkbox here that's display can be toggled on this report anytime company is selected. So hide it initially, but display it when company is clicked. Now, if I say, okay, if I run this. Now we get to our show and hide groups. Now it does something by default that is slightly different than the other one. You'll notice the very first account unit uh, is still displayed next to it. If you want to get rid of something like that, the key thing on these matrix uh, style reports is just to understand when you're inside a group or something like that. If you want to insert additional rows, you can say insert additional rows uh, inside, outside, above, below. I'll say inside the group, but below. So now it's down there. So now it's got an extra line in there. And by doing that, it will hide that section. But so it basically created another line item inside that group. I could move other things around. Where that works good is you can put things like headers uh, that when you expand and collapse and some of those things. So in general, when you're gonna expand and collapse groups or create those, whenever you're gonna do whole sections, all you need to do is control the visibility of the parameters down below here. Now, the one thing you have to watch out for in this, usually when I'm teaching classes and people are playing around, they run into this is, if I go ahead and I delete this company group, I delete the, I'll delete i delete company group, I'll delete this column here. And now when I um, try and, um, then I'll delete the group here, delete the group of company. I'll say, okay. Now when I run this, it's empty and I'm going to get in air because on the property of the details, it's still expecting to say, show it whenever company is clicked. And that's a common error. Just know that if you do that to fix it, everything controlling those groupings is down here on the details section. So I just come back here to the details, visibility, turn it back on and remove that toggle. And then we're back in business. So that's how you control grouping with expand and collapse options and SQL reporting services. As always, if you do have any um, questions or suggestions or anything like that, feel free to email us at info at dashboardgear.com. And we look forward to uh, having another session with you next week. Thank you.